Hi guys, Adrian the Porsche Lover. So today I'm going to show you a solution how to get Bluetooth audio and Bluetooth calls to your older Porsches. Let's deep dive into the subject for today. As usual, we'll start with a wrist watch check. So on my wrist today is a Auris date pointer. This is a, actually a very unique watch as the date is actually on the outer dial. I believe there's only Oris who was doing this uh, complication and this is the 32mm version. Lovely watch. Okay, back to the topic at hand. As you can see, my 2005 Porsche Boxster 97.1 does not come with a Bluetooth streaming or Bluetooth calls. This is the older generation of the PCM system where it doesn't have this. Even my 09, the 997.2 comes with Bluetooth uh, audio, phone calls, but doesn't come with Bluetooth streaming. So how do we get audio from Spotify from the phone to the player itself? Of course, one way will be to replace the entire head unit itself to a touchscreen, the newer Android or uh, CarPlay, where you can actually stream Spotify or even Waze or Maps or anything like that to it. But it will cost quite a fair bit. So today, I'm going to share you a solution which I think will be the best solution for the least cost possible where you can actually get an item, a device for about 60 ringgit or about 15 US dollars and then get Spotify to stream your, to your Bluetooth. So let's check it out. So this is the device that I was referring to earlier. It's a Ugreen FM transmitter cam USB charger. So besides able to stream Spotify from my phone to the radio, it must be able to charge my phone as well. This was the closest one that I could take off the criteria where actually I tried a couple of other FM transmitters where there wasn't quick charge. So my phone is a Samsung Note 20. It can take up to 48 watts charging. So this is a quick charge 3.0 which is about 18 watts. So this is actually the best one I found so far with the least amount of interference. So this also comes with a bit of interference when you charge the phone and stream the audio. However, the thing is that it's minimal compared to the other brands that I've tried on the market. Besides that, this Ugreen also comes with a, you can see here, call button. So it's a, there's a mic here where you can actually answer calls and also uh, skip the forward the songs and uh, backward the songs. The setup of this is pretty easy. What you do is I need to plug this transmitter into the cigarette lighter port. Here we go. Okay, so you can see it actually gives the battery charging voltage of the car and now it's asking for a Bluetooth connection. Okay, at the same time you can actually adjust here from the system itself how to change the frequency. So currently I'm set at 96.6 where this is actually on, is on my radio as well. So it will stream the frequency to the radio at 96.6. Okay, now I will play my phone to it so you can see it's really paired really the box the Bluetooth. If you like the video so far, please give me a thumbs up and a like. Alright, okay, so you can see over here on the radio, I actually set up to 96.6 Hz already, which is the same as my FM transmitter. Okay, now the thing is to bring my phone here, you can see which already connected to the Bluetooth earlier, and I'm going to play a song from Spotify. So there's a slight buzzing sound when you push it up too high but at normal volumes it's actually very good so the audio is very clear creeps and also at the same time i actually tried the phone call system for this thing it's actually very good as well as you can see i'm a huge fan of the ugreen fm transmitter because it streams audio from my spotify to the, to the car radio it charges my phone and it's got answer phone calls so it kills three birds with one stone so the only downside like i mentioned earlier is that the interference so when you're charging the phone using the fm transmitter the, the device it will actually have a slight interference for your radio signals depending on the area you at especially in the basements or certain areas where the radio signal is weak at the same time you have a slight buzzing sound when you're playing the audio otherwise i would say it's a perfect solution for 60 ringgit or about 15 us dollars so hope you guys enjoy the video i catch you in the next one stay safe cheers guys